God is making a way where there seemed to be no way. Hello warrior, it's Bella Bashan here. Welcome back to my channel. Just want to take a moment before we get started and just say thank you to each and every one of you who supports this channel. I really appreciate you guys. You guys are like family to me in my heart, my spiritual family, and I really do pray for each one of you every single day, all of you who support this channel and even the ones who don't. So, but also let's just get started with the prayer. I pray that God would guide my words that God would just use me today and speak through me I pray that this word would um, be that you would hear what you needed to hear out of this word that this word would be a word of encouragement and support to to whomever this word reaches and find it finds and I pray that this word would find all whom God needs it to reach in Jesus's mighty name amen and so this word I have for you today actually comes from over the last week or so what God's been speaking into my spirit. Um, actually, I was on a walk when I heard the Lord started speaking into my spirit that God is going to make a way where there seems to be um, no way. And then also I had a couple of dreams that I want to share with you, a couple of prophetic dreams that were confirmation to this word. God is making a way where there seems to be no way. This, for me, this means that you whom, this is what the Lord was speaking into my spirit before I got started. You who have been um, needing to buy clothes or um, books or school things for your children you who has been waiting to move or needs to move and you don't seem to know where you're going to get the money you who um needs whatever your needs are at this time you have a hospital bill you have um you have something and it seems to be impossible how God's going to make a way for you and God wants you to know that a way is going to be made for you. God is the one who makes a way in the wilderness. You're about to blow through every single obstacle that has been hindering you. In the dream that I had, the first dream that I had um, over this last week is I was actually all of a sudden I got on this horse and this horse was this horse just took off. It was like a wild horse. I was just like hanging on for the ride. And then all of a sudden, um, you know, I was just going so fast. If, if, if any of you who has ever been on a horse, a wild horse, it is, it's intense. And um, it really is an athletic moment to really hang on to. So I could like, I was barely able to control this horse and all of a sudden we came upon um, a narrowing in the path and there was like a rancher with cows and I could see that this rancher was going to he basically was trying to block my way and there I didn't I did not know how I was going to get past this rancher with this herd of cattle and my horse just zipped right past him and so the Lord wants you to know that again also that this is something that I heard in my spirit as well is that those who when man tries to oppress you the more man and the enemy tries to oppress you the more that God is going to bless you and so to me this um, this rancher, it represented, you know, people on your path who want to slow you down, who want to um, st basically stop you in some type of way. I know some of you out there, you know, you say you don't have any enemies or you don't have anyone trying to stop you. But actually, if you're really on God's team and you're really working for Jesus, the enemy often is trying to oppose us in our path and the enemy comes to kill, steal, and destroy. And I felt like when I woke up and I was praying about this, this rancher and these cattle, you know, to me, on some level, a rancher represents an oppressor because a rancher, 
um, kind of keeps uh, animals oppressed. This is my own personal point of view. And also cattle to me kind of represents going along with the herd. And so you are in a way doing your own thing. You're on this wild horse, you're going your own path. And this is very much like Moses who was not going to um, go by what, what Pharaoh's rules were and how God actually made a way for Moses and parted the Red Sea for Moses. Moses wasn't going to be like a cattle. He didn't want the Israelites to be trapped under this oppression of Pharaoh. And so this is a scripture that I have for you from um, Exodus. Um, I believe it's um, Exodus 14 verse 21. Um Yes, I believe that's what it is. It says, And then Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and the Lord caused the sea to go back by a strong east wind all that night and made the sea into dry land, and the waters were divided. So the children of Israel went into the midst of the sea and on the dry ground, and the waters were a wall to them on their right and on their left. And the Egyptians pursued and went after them in the midst of the sea, and Pharaoh's horses and chariots and horsemen. So I, I thought it was interesting too that this actually had um, horsemen in it as well. So God wants you to know that the Red Sea is parting for you. And right before Moses and the people, the Israelites, got to the Red Sea, they were really stumped at how God was going to make any type of way for them. And so you might be in that position. You might feel like you're at, you know, your wit's end with something or you don't see how a way can be made. But this is your season where God is about to really blow your mind and God really wants um, you to be in the spirit of being um, captivated because this next part of your story is what the Lord was telling me is about to be very intriguing and exciting and captivating just as the story of Moses. And I actually got this word intriguing from a dream and in this dream I was trying to read, first I was trying to purchase this book on um like on kindle and i was typing in the name of the book and the name of the book was intriguing so i want to read you some synonyms for intriguing and this is about i really feel what the lord is saying is this next part of your story is about to be very intriguing and for you to get excited that a way is going to be made for you God is the, he's the God that makes a way in the wilderness. He makes the crooked places straight. So here are some, some synonyms for the word intriguing. Fascinating, interesting, captivating, absorbing, riveting, enthralling, gripping, engaging, attractive, engrossing, exciting, charming, enchanting, these are all things that God is about to do in your life. Your life is about to be, you know, these are all adjectives for what the Lord wants you to know that your life is about to be very exciting. This part of your, this part of your story is an exciting part of your story, whether you believe it or not. God wants you to be in the spirit of excitement for what's about to come because God is about to make a way in the wilderness. The Red Seas will part for you and you will ha you will have those finances. You will have that whatever it is, God is making a way for you. Those those papers for your um your visa, whatever it is that you're waiting on or that you need for this next part of your journey. God said, "Get excited." This is this is the part of your journey. This is a very compelling part of your journey to be excited about. So Heavenly Father, we just thank you for making a way in the wilderness. We just thank you for parting the Red Seas. You are the God of miracles. You are the God of supernatural. And we know that it's not by our might, but by your spirit, God, that you can do it. In Jesus' mighty name, we thank you. Amen. Give it a thumbs up. 
subscribe to see more videos and I'll talk to you again later. God bless.